the time has sadly come to break apart my beautiful bookshelf and set that I film in front of. This is super, super traumatic because I, I love this bookshelf. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! <clears throat> okay. Hey guys, hope you are going well. If you can hear this really echoey space right now, it's because there is zero furniture in this house, in this apartment right now, apart from a mop and the bunny still has her house here, but um, that's about to be flat packed up and she's about to be put in a travel case and packed in my car because I am leaving. It has been a absolute crazy last couple of days, like last few weeks actually, but especially the last couple of days as I have sold and given away and donated all my possessions, all my furniture, just all the things that I love. I've sold everything um, because I am, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this beautiful apartment that I have been living in for the past couple of years that I love um, and I am leaving this country. I'm moving. Imagine if I cut the visa. <laughs> I just thought that. <laughs> Here we go. Would you let this person into the United Kingdom? <laughs> That's so cool. Ooh, and my letter. You must present this letter to the immigration officer upon arrival in the UK. It's official. This is what you do when you're moving overseas and you need cash quick. <laughs> you sell your most beloved possessions. Okay, let's do this, eBay. Oh, it kills me, but I am about to try and sell on eBay my baby, my Canon EOS 5D Mark II, the camera, the camera that has been with me literally since the beginning, my first like proper DSLR that I've filmed every single YouTube video that I've ever done unless I was filming on my iPhone or my little digital camera. Like my very first YouTube video ever was done on this bad boy. It kills me. It kills me to, um, to have to sell this guy. Like, He's been through so much with me. I just sold my dining table that used to be here. It's kind of sad to sell the things that you love, like to sell furniture, but the guys that bought it were really nice. So at the same time, is it sad to see it go for me because I love that dining table. It's also kind of cool to see it go on to its next home because I got it secondhand from someone else. So I feel like I'm passing the love down. The time has sadly come to break apart my beautiful bookshelf and set that I film in front of and my whole office basically all has to come, come apart, be packed down. Some of it I'm giving away, giving away the desk, giving away the bookshelf uh, and then a bunch of it's going into storage and a bunch of the books and DVDs and Blu-rays are going to charity. Oh, it took me so long to find everything and put it together exactly how I like it. And it just seems wrong to take it all apart.
So I've just packed up my entire Funko Pop collection from Aragon, Saruman, and where is he? Of course, the big guy, Smaug. Got my Lord of the Rings guys. And the rest of my villain collection from Hannibal Lecter, the Demigorgon. Got uh, Jareth from Labyrinth. A couple of Disney, Disney Evil Queens. Um, Pennywise, love Pennywise. And of course we've got Ghostface and a walker from The Walking Dead. They're all going into storage. I've got this old school iPod that I think it still works, but it's one of the first generation iPods. Some all of my old point and shoot digital cameras. I think this guy, this Canon PowerShot was my first one followed by this one, which has really gone through the wars. I used it, I used it so much. Look how beat up it is. Like it's even got like a really cracked screen. <laughs> um, and then I went on to this guy. This is an old film camera that was my parents, a Nikon N2000, um, followed by these two <laughs> early, Early 2000s uh, digital cameras. In fact, no, this one's still a film camera, and this one's still. Yeah, he still opens, he still works. This Asahi Pentax K1000. I've had this for ages. I was pretty sure I was given it as a gift when I was right into shooting film, but. Um, Yes, have not used it in a long time. How satisfying is that? Listen to that. Moving is stressful. Look at this. It's like looking, it's that situation, it's that time in the move where it's looking a lot worse before it's about to look better, hopefully. But look at the study now. We're kind of done. No, I lie. It's kind of like, this is stuff that I'm keeping that's gonna get picked up. I mean, oh my God. Who am I kidding? I've still got ages to go. Okay. That's a wrap. The house is empty, looking so empty, looking small without any furniture in it. Um, and I, I'm lost for words, lost for words. This is the room with nothing in it. This is my studio where I filmed two years worth of, yeah, two years worth of videos. Um, I just loved having this entire room as my studio office. Um, and now there's nothing left to do. The car is all packed and I am ready for the nine hour drive back to Melbourne. Oh, and the bunny, the poor bun, she's so confused. She says, where did my house go? Where did everything go? It's all right, darling, I've still got her house here. That's the last thing to get packed up in the car and we'll go. Goodbye house, goodbye, farewell house. <sighs> Moving sucks. All right, Bunny, the car is packed. I've never seen it packed like this before. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Ooh! Watch out, juice on, here we go. Um, okay, that feeling when you haven't even left your garage and you're already broken down. <laughs> I have a flat battery. I have a flat battery. It's, <laughs> my mom's out there laughing so much because I told her about this scene from Romy and Michelle's high school reunion where they're driving <laughs> and they break down like, not even five meters away from their house. And that's me. 
We were all ready to go. Bunny was, is in the car, turn on the engine, and it just sputters. And that, that feeling in my heart is like, <laughs> Oh my god, so now I'm waiting for roadside assistance to come and give me a jump start. Alright, good way to start a road trip. So yeah, the battery just drained, so it looks like someone probably left on. Whoops. The battery is very flat. Definitely my bad. <laughs> like when you were loading up at some point. I suspect so, yes. Okay. Alright, here we go again. Take two. My car is so full with stuff. Got Bunny there strapped in. Where's the radio? Get a good playlist going. All right. Okay, so <laughs> it's been a few weeks since I moved, packed up my entire life and moved from Sydney back to my parents place in Melbourne and right now I am sitting in the international airport waiting for my flight to London. I know that's totally so crazy but um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I was intending to do so much stuff in the last few weeks while I was at home and relaxing but I ended up just relaxing, <laughs> spending time with family and friends and eating so much good food, good home cooked meals, going out for coffees and just really really relaxing and enjoying my time before packing it all up and stepping off into the abyss and into the unknown um, it still hasn't quite hit me what I'm about to do which is move overseas to a whole new country I'm moving from Australia to the UK to London I think I don't even know I don't have any plans I don't have a job lined up I don't have many friends there I don't have anywhere to live <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I'm just packing everything up and and heading over there with uh, my life savings and I'm just gonna go see what happens and I'm so excited. I'm so terrified but I'm also so excited. Like I've never done, I've never done anything like this before. This is the biggest, this is the biggest decision. This is the biggest life thing that I've ever done and Oh, it's very emotional. <laughs> it's a very emotional, um, it's a very emotional time. I, yeah, I'm, I'm also very, like, all my emotions are right at the surface. Saying goodbye to my parents and saying goodbye to my family was, it was tough, you know. It's, oh, this is the most, like, exciting decision that I've ever done for myself and no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to bringing you new content from a whole new country and a whole new perspective from the other side of the world and we're just gonna do this thing. We're just gonna go for it. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for watching and next time uh, you see me uh, we'll be in London so I will see you there. <laughs> Bye. Okay being led into the country that is a good start. <laughs> 